Promises are the benefits, tips, tactics, and learning you intend to give your prospect. And you're going to be entering future tense, present tense, and past tense promises. And we're going to help you with those verbs, so don't worry. You just want to be as specific as you possibly can. Think of it this way. What are you promising your reader for engaging in your emails and or purchasing your products or services? I'm going to give you three examples of each of these and show you how it's done. Now, one of the things you'll want to take note of is that you do not want to use pronouns. So this can be a little challenging at first, but I think you'll get the hang of it by watching me go through this. Okay, again, my niche is weight loss. So what are future tense promises that I'm gonna promise my reader who is interested in losing weight? Well, all the verbs are right here. So one of the things I'm gonna promise them is that they can lose five or more pounds the first week. It's a good promise. Notice I didn't say you can lose five or more pounds or lose five or more of your pounds in the first week because that's not gonna work. I'm gonna hit that save entry. I'm going to add a second one here. And the next promise I'm going to make is regain lost energy and youthful zest. Save that. I'm going to add one more. I'm going to use the verb C, fat melting off stubborn body parts. Now I'm going to get really specific here, such as, notice I don't say your hips. I say such as hips, thighs, buttocks, the belly the belly area. So these are all future tense promises. What I mean by future tense is a, you will complete the following sentence. Tomorrow, I want you to verb action. Tomorrow, I want you to see fat melting off stubborn body parts. Tomorrow, I want you to regain lost energy. You wouldn't say tomorrow, I want you regaining. Now, when you go to the present tense and past tense promises, if you like, you can take the same exact entries here and simply change the verbs. I prefer that you create new entries. So I'm gonna do both. I'm gonna take the same entry here, and I'm literally gonna copy and paste it to show you how easy this is, and then I'll create new ones for the other one. So this with the first one is lose five or more pounds the first week. So now I'm gonna make it losing five or more pounds the first week. You see how easy this is? This is very easy to do. Regaining, <laughs> it's not too difficult, right? Add a new entry. Regaining, lost energy and youthful zest. And finally, on the last one, seeing fat melting off stubborn areas. So seeing, and there you go. Now, for the past tense promises, I'm going to create new promises because I want it to be fresh and I don't want it just to duplicate the same thing I just said. So this is past tense. So the sentence structure would read like this. Yesterday, I lost five or more pounds or within four weeks, she lost five pounds or something to that effect. So uh, over the past six months, she dropped at least three dress sizes. So this is past tense. We're gonna use past tense quite a bit. So I might say dropped or several dress sizes. And what I can do is save that. I'll add a new entry and I'll put dropped several inches off the waistline. Remember, I don't say off your waistline or because we don't know, it could be her, it could be my off the waistline. I'll save that. I'll add one more. So I'm going to say watched as compliments rolled in from others. So now I've got three different tenses and multiple promises here. Again, I would have changed these to be new and new, completely different, but you can do it like that. It does work if you're in a hurry, but I prefer that you go through and create new entries each time you do this. So your emails are that much more dynamic.